Moin Moin. This is Wolfgang from Flensburg in Germany. I'm back again. Uh, we have beautiful weather and uh, you might wondering uh, why I'm sitting inside, but outside, left and right, all the neighbors, they have barbecue and uh, there's a lot of noise. So I j just sit inside uh, the kitchen. Uh, but later on, I will sit outside again and smoke my pipe. By the way, I have a Dublin made by Big Ben. I think it's a Dutch uh, pipe maker factory. And in the pipe, I smoke uh, this beautiful, pure rum tobacco, Blockade Runner by Cornell and Dio. It's, yeah, I think is rum pour. If you smell the tobacco, you, it's like you open a bottle of rum. But I don't want to talk about tobacco and pipe. Uh, not about this. Uh, even if it is a pipe community. No, we had uh, on Friday, we had such beautiful weather. And uh, so I sort of make a little trip with my Bergman and I decided go to Kiel. And in Kiel is a pipe and tobacco shop Herbert Motzek. He is uh, a guy he, since the middle of the 60s he uh, has a license to produce tobacco and many people like uh, his uh, handmade tobacco. And uh, like many of you guys know the Motzek Schrang, the rope, uh, comes uh, out of his shop and uh, uh, from Kiel and uh, it's a Virginia with Burley with a, a rope Virginia and with the heart of Burley and Perique and it's all handmade by uh, Mr. Motzek and there are no um, uh, chemicals any no not any chemicals and it's just nature tobacco and uh, he is very famous for it. But this man is retired now, and uh, the I think the right word is successor is a young uh, pipe maker and uh, a wood carver from southern Germany, and he has taken the risk and took over the the shop and is a new owner. And I think it's pretty risky. And in in times, all the pipe shops uh, north of the border closing here in in Flensburg. Uh, uh, the good pipe shops closed and all over and uh, then uh, you have the uh, uh, power to uh, uh, take a tobacco shop I think that's pretty good so I went there and uh, I met him he is a nice guy and uh, the funny thing he recognized me but uh, uh, I stayed there about an hour. I bought just one tobacco, the number 32 from uh, from uh, uh, Larsen's. Um, I couldn't just make a, a short, very short video because so many customers came in the shop and uh, so it's good for, for uh, uh, Thomas Daraj, but uh, it was bad for me. So. Uh, uh, many people don't like uh, when there's someone in the shop film, so it was just pretty short. And after it, I went uh, on the other side of the Kila Fjord uh, to a submarine memorial, made a little video. And uh, there's a, a little bit uh, up the coast, uh, there's a naval uh, memorial for all the sailors uh, from the world one and two from the First and Second World War. And on the beach there is an original submarine. I made a little video uh, as well. Yes, that's what you're gonna see in the next few minutes. I hope you it's interesting for you. And uh, uh, yeah, take care and have a lot of fun. So now I'm in Kiel and uh, I want to visit uh, Motzek's tobacco and pipe shop. There's a new owner and uh, I hopefully uh, will see him, meet him and 
I will see what happened to this store. So I'm in this fine, nice uh, little shop. On the wall and the side of these little windows, you see all the pipes for sale. There's a Yumi door for cigars. And right here are beautiful pipes made by Thomas Darash. A lot of uh, fine uh, freehand pipes and some traditional shapes. Um, beautiful pipes and um, maybe sometimes beside there's a little room where you uh, can sit and smoke and uh, try tobacco and drink coffee and uh, maybe talk with other people very comfortable in the in the rear there's a little workshop but I think he has a bigger one in the uh, back of the house. I don't know for sure, but I think so. And there he is, the master himself, Thomas Darash, uh, a pipe maker, a pipe lover, and hopefully uh, in the future he also will make this fine tobacco Mr. Motzek was selling. Because there was a speciality of this uh, shop, the uh, handmade tobacco by Mr. Herbert Motzek. After I left uh, Motzek's uh, tobacco and pipe store, I went on the other side, of, on the east side of the Kiel, Kieler Förde, Kiel Fjord, uh, to Heikendorf. There is a memorial for all the German uh, submarine sailors who uh, lost their life in, during the First World War and Second World War. This memorial is originally built in, 19, uh, in the end of 1920. And uh, here it's, it's built in a half circle uh, down in the ground. And on this breast plates, uh, uh, plates uh, there are the numbers of all of the German subs sunk in during the Second World War, the name of the commandants and all the name of the crews from all the boats that get lost during the war. On the other side, uh, there are the number of the boats from the First World War, name of the commandant, name of the crew, and uh, all the sailors who lost their life during the war, during the two wars. And uh, once in a while, when I'd be in Kiel, uh, I, or uh, here on this side of the, uh, of the fjord, <clears throat> I'll stop by and uh, take a little rest and uh, feel a little bit sad, uh, even if I'm not served in the, in the submarine Navy. Uh, but uh, it's still a sad feeling being here. A few kilometers up the coast, there's uh, the little town of La Beu, and uh, there at the beach is an original uh, uh, seven sea submarine built in 1943 and served uh, the last year, the last two years of the war in Norway. And after the war, the Norwegian Navy took over of this boat, and uh, I think they used it until the 60s. And after it gets off duty, it uh, was given back to the uh, German Naval Society and they uh, restored it like it was during the war. And uh, I don't go in the inside, it's so crowded, but if you are interested, uh, maybe you have seen the movie Das Boot, The Boat. There you see all uh, how this boat looks from the inside and how it was during the war.
On the other side, uh, where the sap is, is the Navy Memorial. It's built in 1936, I think. It's a 70 meter high tower and it's a memorial, in memoriam for all the sailors uh, who lost uh, uh, their life during the two world wars. And now it's also a uh, to honor all the sailors from all over the world, all nations who who lost their life on sea. There is a, a underground hall of honor, and uh, there is a, a museum where you can see old flags and uh, uh, models of ship and all this navy stuff. It's very interesting. I've been in there so many times, and uh, I don't want to do it today. <laughs> That's it. I hope you liked the video and uh, see you next time. Moin Moin from Flensburg.